In this video, I'm going to show you how to create fully editable vector graphics in Illustrator using their text to vector graphic tool. So we're going to start by creating a new file. Create that. And then under properties, you'll see that there is a new set of tools here. Um, there's this text to vector graphic tab, and this is in beta, uh, but this allows you to type in text like you would any other AI image generating tool, and it will search its database and give you a, an AI image um, that is pretty interesting. These are AI gra uh, vector graphics. So you can choose from the type of uh, object you want it to create. Do you want it to be a subject, like a person, animal, object, a scene, so background image, uh, skies, landscapes, things like that, an icon, um, whether that's a symbol or geometry, or a pattern, so something repeatable. So I'm going to leave it at subject for now, and clicking on this object, I can type into the prompt here. So I can say, man standing with shovel. And so when it's doing this, it's going to use the any graphics or images in the background to influence the style of the, uh, of the vectors. So if I had an image back here, it would use that color scheme or line weight or style line work to influence this image. If I scroll down, it gives me three different options. So you can see some of the vector options here. And you'll notice all of these are editable. So I can edit these vectors. So it's a very useful tool to have. Um, Let's say we wanted to create a backdrop for this. So I'm going to type in, so instead of subject, I'm going to set this to scene and I'm going to type in gradient, uh, blue gradient sky with dynamic clouds and hit enter and it's going to take this object that I selected and create vector landscapes and vector scenes with that text. Okay, so you can see already this is pretty interesting and you can select this, scale it, it's vector and then selecting on it, you can change and look at all the different options that it generated. Okay, so one of these may be closer to what you're looking for. You can select it and edit it as necessary. All right, so that is scene um, icon. If we select this, again, I'm just going to create an object. If I want the object to be kind of within this boundary, create an object and then type in, let's say, red polygon 3D, enter. So again, looking at our options. So now that we have a backdrop, it's going to be influenced by that. So I'm wondering if that bluish background is making this object actually a little more purple. So if I delete this, we can try running this prompt again. I'll try this, generate. Now in this case, it might be influenced by this person.
yeah, we get more red objects. Alright, and the last one we're going to try is pattern. So with pattern, I can say, um, we'll say uh, taco, we'll just type taco. So it'll create a pattern that's repeatable and we can use this in pattern making and other repeatable graphic backgrounds. All right, so not bad. Let's try. Hamburger. So giving us some more options there. And you'll notice that this is scalable, so we can increase this, the pattern increases. It's a very useful tool for graphics. Okay, so again, this is still in beta, so there's still a lot of testing that needs to be worked out and, and new features that will be coming, but I think this is a very useful uh, technique uh, and architecture in particular because this allows us to create characters um, you know add entourage into a scene so if I wanted to add say do this and I can type um, black and white tree with shadow So it's also going to use the shape of the starting vector here too to create that. Oh, I'm still in pattern. So you'll notice the pattern that's created. Maybe if we wanted to create a tree wallpaper or something that might be useful, but we're more interested in a subject. So I'm going to set this to subject same prompt and hit generate. All right, so looking through our options, it's giving us some tree vectors that can be useful. This could be used as entourage in the background of a drawing or in a 3D view. Alright, so explore. Hope this helps.